Welcome to the Octane Render version 1.0 beta 2.2 overview video series. In this video we're going to show how to install Octane Render on a fresh install of Macintosh OS 10.6. This is a default install. And we're going to also show how you can take a look and make sure that your Mac is capable of running Octane Render. In order to find that out we click on the Apple icon and then we are going to click about this Mac. This, it shows up that this is indeed an Intel processor. Octane Render requires that we need a Intel-based processor. We do not uh, currently support PowerPCs. And we can also see that that was version 10.6.3. And Octane will support both 10.6 and 10.5. There is an additional software package necessary for installing on 10.5, so please stay tuned at the end of this video for one additional step for anybody who's using version 10.5. The, the beginning part of this video assumes you're on 10.6. So, if we click on the More Info button, we can find some more detailed information about our Mac. And one of the things we need to take a look at is about our display and take a look at our graphics card. And we got to make sure that we have one that's supported by Octane to run. And even if you have multiple video cards, they will show up in this list. And that is very important. We need to make sure that we have an NVIDIA GeForce CUDA capable video card installed to run it. As you can see, we're running a GeForce 320M here and it's got 256 megabytes of RAM. This is a CUDA capable video card. If you are unsure whether your video card is CUDA capable, you can open up Safari and we can do a search for um, NVIDIA CUDA capable GPU and that should take you to a link to the NVIDIA site and there will be a list of all of the CUDA GPUs. As long as the GPU is listed on this list as being CUDA capable, it is capable of running Octane Render. So as long as it's on this list, it will work with Octane. So we can go ahead and close that out. And we can close this out as well. The first thing we'd like to do is to get all of our files necessary to install Octane Render and all of our dependencies. So let's just go to refractivesoftware.com. and then click on the link of Git Demo and then this will bring us the list of all of the available files that we need for running Octane Render on various platforms so the first thing we're going to download is the Macintosh distribution of Octane Render this package so go ahead and download that we've already downloaded it Yep, it's already downloaded. So the next thing we need to do is download the demo suite. The demo suite has a shared archive full of HDRI files and various test scenes for us to make sure that Octane is running properly. We also have the release notes. So we've downloaded those two files, the demo and the and the demo suite. Those have already been downloaded. If you go down to the bottom, we also need to make sure that we have the the CUDA 3.0 drivers and the CUDA toolkit so that Octane will work properly. So if you see this link that's down here on the bottom, that will take us to the NVIDIA website to the CUDA zone where we can get the files that we need. So if we scroll down, you can see that we have some files for Windows and Linux and we go down to the Mac OS. So the only two things that we're really going to need is the developer driver for Mac OS. So go ahead and download that. And we're also going to need the CUDA toolkit, which it's another download when we have already downloaded it and it's over on the side. And that's it. On this page that you need to download, don't worry about any of the other files. You don't need any of the other things that are down there. It's important that we install them in the correct order. So it's very important that they go in the right order or else it might not work properly. So let's go to the downloads and let's start installing all of our files that we need. So the first thing that we need is to install the CUDA driver. So if we uh, click on that, it will actually launch a disk image and open up the package. And if we just click on that, it will open up the installer. And welcome to the CUDA 3.0 installer. Just this will install the, the CUDA driver, the graphics card driver necessary to 
to run Octane. So if we just click continue, it'll bring up the software license agreement. And then also just accept the license and agree to it. And it tells you how much disk space it will take up. And just follow all of the default standard installation steps and click install. And then you're going to have to type in your administrator password, so go ahead and enter that. And it's important that you put that uh, password in because the driver is going to need to make changes to various system files. And so being that this is an official NVIDIA software, you don't need to worry about there being any viruses or anything like that. So it'll just take a few seconds and finish up the installation. It's installed, so we can just hit close. And we do not need to reboot. Uh, you can just close that off, and then you can just unmount the disk by ejecting it. And, okay, the next thing that we need to do, let's make sure that that's properly ejected. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is we need to install the CUDA Toolkit. So if we open that up, if we just click Continue and click Install, and follow the, the same type of prompts, so just uh, enter your administrator credentials and let it install. And it'll take a few seconds. And the installation successful, hit close. And now the next thing we need to do is actually install Octane Render. So just double click on the package and then follow the installation instructions here. You need to have both the CUDA 3.0 drivers and the CUDA 3.0 toolkit before running the installer, which is exactly what we've done. So we just hit continue and we've got the release notes that are listed. We can hit con and the license, so we can hit continue. And then we also hit uh, continue to the software license and then hit agree. And leave the install location to the defaults because most of the scripts and some other uh, different program aspects are expecting Octane to be in the default location. So we strongly recommend that you keep it in the uh, default install location. So go ahead and hit install, type in your administrator password, and, and Octane will install. And then it was successful, so go ahead and hit close, and now you'll notice that you've got Octane installed into your applications. So in order to find Octane, we can open up our applications, and Octane should be there, so we see it right here. And if you can't find it there, then we can go to your root of your hard drive, and then look into your applications, and it should be listed there. And for confirmation that Octane is installed correctly, we just double click on the icon and as long as Octane opens without any warning or anything like just like this so if it installs to this point then uh, you know that you have Octane installed correctly okay this is an additional addendum for users of Macintosh OS 10.5 Leopard the previous version of Mac OS so if you're running 10.5, you're going to need to get one more package. It needs the installation of the XQuartz package. So that can be downloaded from refractivesoftware.com. So we'll go there and click on Get Demo. And this package needs to be installed just before you launch Octane Render. So the order of installation is the same. You need to install the driver and then the CUDA toolkit and then Octane Render, and then install this XQuartz package, and then before, just before you launch Octane Render. Now, if you are a user of 10.6, you do not need this XQuartz package. It's only necessary for 10.5 users. So uh, to get that package, we just uh, click on the little link here, right here, and that should open up the XQuart. XQuartz website and uh, to download it we just uh, click on the link right here and install it just like you would any other package. Uh, we're currently downloading it here and uh, again it's not needed if you are on Snow Leopard it is only needed if you are on version 10.5